This is a Rutke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods and welcome to episode 19 of my Mac Pro series. In this episode, I am going to demonstrate to you what happens when you're running a video card that is too powerful for your first generation Mac Pro. This applies to any Mac Pro from 1 comma 1 all the way through 5 comma 1. As I stated in episode 2, you should never run any more than a video card with an 8-pin power connector, which would translate into using an 8-pin adapter, which uses the two 6-pin adapters, or using a video card with two 6-pins. So you can use two 6-pins or one 8-pin, but no more. Well, right now I am running my GTX 580, in my Mac Pro. Now what I am doing with my 580 currently, this isn't a problem. I'm using it for light rendering and being able to actually watch my videos in code and not have any issues with slowdown like I do with the GT120. Currently my card that I was running in my Mac is now running in one of the PCs over there. So, I still have my 580 laying around, I might as well use it. Before we continue, I would like to state that you should never ever do this because it could cause irreversible damage to your Mac Pro. I am just doing this for a demonstration and I am willing to take the risk. Here is my GTX 580 running in my Mac Pro right now. As you can see, it is using one 6-pin and one 8-pin. One 6-pin is plugged directly into the board, where the other 6-pin is plugged into an 8-pin adapter. Like I said earlier, you should never do this. If you want to run a video card that uses more than one 8-pin or two 6-pins, you need an external power supply. I will be showing you what happens when the card hits peak power. The system will shut off. And this could, in fact, cause something to short out in the Mac Pro. But hopefully, when the system shuts off, it prevents that. And that's what I'm hoping for. So, we are going to be running a Furmark benchmark. And you'll see exactly what happens within probably a minute of filming. It will just shut off. In fact, it will probably shut off sooner than that. Let's begin. Now, like I said earlier, it is okay to be running a card like this in the use case that I'm using it for. I am not doing any major benchmarking or video gaming with this video card. All the stuff I do is only using a max of 50% of the card's power. So let's begin with the Firmark stress test. Okay, so I will be recording the time in real time from the beginning of the test to when it shuts off. And here we go. The card is going into full power mode. We can hear the card getting louder. And there went the power. As you can see, the power light is still on. But everything has just shut off. And that took roughly 50 seconds. Now we need to reset the system. We have to hold in the power button until the light goes off. And then we start it back up. And it starts booting back up. We got the message that said your computer shut down because of a problem. And we're back on the desktop. Well, that is the end of this episode. As stated before, never try this on your Mac Pro. But hopefully, if you happen to do this, 
the power will cut off before it fries anything. Well, thank you for watching, and this has been a Retk Mods video. Okay, so I will be... You went into sleep.